Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue with your Microsoft Edge web browser that says that there's not enough memory to open this page. Try closing other tabs or programs to free up memory. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be if you do have tabs within the Microsoft web browser itself, I recommend closing out or turning them off and seeing if you're able to free up some memory resources in order to reload the page. You may also want to restart the web browser as well as restarting your computer and see if you're able to clear up your memory a little bit by doing that. You want to open up the search menu, type in msconfig, best match, come back with system configuration. Go ahead and open that up. Set the startup tab and then select Open Task Manager. Now, at this point, go ahead and disable applications you do not want to start up every time your computer turns on. So these don't disable or necessarily remove certain programs. It just is not going to boot up every time your computer turns on. So if you have a lot of programs in here you don't really use, you can safely click on them and then just disable them. And if you ever wanted to re-enable, you just would select the program in here and then just select Enable. So when you're in Windows, you can still turn on any of these applications. It just doesn't have to start up every time your computer boots up, which is just slowing down your system. And these apps are always running in the background as a result of that. So you can disable some of these apps in here, and you will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect if you disable or turn off any of these apps from starting up when your computer turns on. So that is something else I would take a look into there. And something else we can try here as well, if you open up Microsoft Edge, select the three-dotted icon up in the top right by left-clicking on it, and then go down and select where it says Extensions about halfway down this page. If you see any extensions in here, you can select where it says Manage Extensions. Just go ahead and left-click on that. I recommend toggling a bunch of these extensions off if you have a whole bunch of listed in here. And then once you're done with that, I recommend restarting the web browser and see if that has resolved the problem. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. Do all I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.